Hey everybody, it's Dr. Kara, and um, today is December 30th, 2018, and I am just shooting a really quick short video for my blog um, because I want to share a tradition that I have with you and invite you to share it with me. So this tradition me thing kind of combines my birthday tradition and my New Year's tradition all into one little package, and I think it's super, super powerful, and it's really worked for me in my life. So. Um, in a nutshell, my birthday tradition ever since I first got a job, which was I think sophomore in high school, instead of buying myself a birthday present, I take that money and I donate it to a cause that I really believe in. Actually, it's like tearing me up right now. <laughs> it's so crazy. Um, and so like when I was in high school, I donated money to the California Marine Mammal Center, which re rehabilitates stranded um, seals and dolphins and whales and all kinds of marine wildlife and that just kind of was just a natural extension of me being me but it really became part of um, just my annual thing that I did and you know some years I had like zero money and yet I did that ten dollars or whatever it was and it just connected me to what I love and connected me to that sense of power and giving and sharing and being generous. So it created this great feeling inside of me, knowing that I was doing something. I also, you know, always have volunteered my time, but you know, it's really nice to give money because then money can be used in so many different ways. So that's my birthday tradition. My New Year's Day tradition has been to do some activity that is an affirmation of what I want to create in my life. And so when I was in graduate school and volunteering at the Dolphin Research Project, and I wanted to be a dolphin researcher, I wanted to be a scientist, I would volunteer for a New Year's Day shift because, well, nobody else wanted it, so it was easy, but also it was the first day of my new year. And it was me saying, this is what I want. This is what I'm taking a stand for. This is who I am, and this is what I'm up to. This is what I want to create more of in my life. And so that became my New Year's tradition. This year I'm combining those two traditions and I want to um, find a cause that I want to donate to. And I want that to be my New Year's affirmation because one of the things that I wanna be moving into as a human being and as an adult in this world is I really wanna put my money where my mouth is and I wanna vote with my dollars. I wanna support causes that I believe in. And I want to give them the resources that they need to be able to function. And sometimes, you know, donating time is great. It's awesome. And it, this is not about that. This is about also. Also, financially, it's a real statement about who you are and what you're up to. It's powerful for you. And it's powerful to the recipient. And so as many of you may have known, um, because of the Animal Wisdom World Summit, I had the great honor of meeting Linda Tucker, who is a South African conservationist working so freaking hard to save all of the lions in Africa. And there are so many threats to them right now. And she is just a diligent voice for the lions. And um, she's just incredible. I had the, the even greater honor of spending a weekend with her taking her leadership workshop in LA in October. Um, she's the real deal. She's incredible. I admire her so much and got so much out of our time together. So what I'm doing this year and what I would invite you to join me in doing is I am going to donate $85 to the White Lions Day of Freedom campaign. So they measure the value that they get in the Days of Freedom. It costs $85 for them to keep one lion alive and free in their natural habitat for one day. Right now there's 13 white lions that are living free in their natural habitat and hundreds of them are in captivity. And most of those are in captivity for the, the cuddle, the pet and cuddle trade where you pay money to go and pet a lion. Well, those babies, grow up and get too big for that, and then they go into the canned lion hunting, and the white lions are prized especially for that. So it's a really horrific, horrible cycle that we have going, and Linda Tucker is working tirelessly, sorry, I keep tearing up, um, to stop that. So, sorry. 
So what I'm doing this year for my New Year's affirmation, my birthday celebration, is I'm taking money and instead of buying myself a gift, I'm buying a white lion a gift of a day of freedom. I really didn't think I'd get all this emotional because I thought it was really straightforward. So um, forgive me, it just really touches my heart when there's people out there doing such good in the world that I can help even a little bit. So thank you, Linda, for inviting us to be part of the Freedom of the White Lions. And um, this is what I'm doing, sorry, today, um, day after tomorrow, so New Year's Day, I'm going to start my New Year fresh and I am going to make a stand for white, white lions, for all African lions, for wildlife, for returning us to our natural state of harmony with nature to saying, yes, we can do something to protect nature. My invitation is to join me in this, of course, because I want to make a big statement. And if we all do this together, we're making a really big statement. So I'm going to put the link below to the White Lion Protection Trust website, where you can find out more about the Day of Freedom. If it resonates for you, um, just join me. <laughs> and. Um, and I want to also tell you just a little story. I went to their website, and you can choose a lion to, for which lion you want to give that day of freedom to. And I was attracted to Cleopatra. I've always loved Cleopatra, the historical figure, um, as a kid. And then I fell in love with Cleopatra, the white lion, who really, you'll find out, read it, you'll find out, she did a lot to become part of that pride of lions that is in the White Lion Protection Trust area. So she's the lion that I chose. I thought it would be kind of cool if each of us got together in this community and we each gave a day of freedom to Cleopatra and what an impact we could make for her specifically, but as we make an impact for her as our surrogate, we're making an impact for lions everywhere and for conservation efforts everywhere. And we're speaking through our actions, we're speaking through our donations, we're, we're speaking through our money, our finances. So, um, so please join me. Um, it'd be super cool if we all did it on New Year's Day and it just made a big statement. Like we just went, yes, we are about this. This is who we are, this is what we're up to. And as we come together with our numbers, we're gonna say yes together and raise our voices. If you do choose to join me, just put a note in the comments below. I would love to hear if you fell in love with Cleopatra too, if you fell in love with somebody else, um, who you are doing this in honor of. And know that it's in honor of you, being a voice for change in the world, being a powerful voice, being strong and saying, yes, this is who I am and this is what I'm up to. So um, I invite you to join me in my birthday slash New Year's tradition. And um, if it's not the White Lions, maybe some, some, some other cause that's near and dear to your heart. But let's just start the year on a really powerful note, saying yes to ourselves, yes to the animals, yes to our planet, and yes to harmony and peace on Earth. All right. Have a beautiful day. I look forward to connecting with you next time. Bye, everybody.